Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> What's up, friends? Bless you, bless you. Bang, bang. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. Shalom, shalom to all of you wonderful, beautiful, uh, Holy Ghost people. Amen. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim from, uh, from Korea. It's funny. I, I keep wanting to say from Hawaii because uh, I'm in Hawaii so often. Or maybe I'm dreaming of being in Hawaii right now. But people of God, this is one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim. And it is officially Monday here in Korea. It's Monday morning. I know the United States side, it's still Sunday. So I want to say happy Sunday. Or if you're in the, uh, uh, the Eastern world like I am, or if you are in the other hemisphere, then happy Monday. Amen. But friends, let your friends know, let your haters know that one of your favorite prophetic voices, Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, is here in his house. And I got some things to share with you and to release over you today in the name of Jesus. Amen. So continue to help me push that like button, that heart button, even that angry button if you got a demon. But why don't you just uh, give us some hearts and likes and share this on your wall. It's one of your favorite prophetic voices here in the house. I know my home church, Open Heavens World in Southern California, they're probably still fellowshipping, uh, but glory be to God. I see so many wonderful faces and names here. Hello, darling from the Philippines. Becky, good to see ya. I was just praying for you in Lebanon, actually. Uh, Rob, good to see you, man. Love seeing the house listing. Praying for blessings for you, my man. Jay Carlos, Michelle Millis, Sarah from Montreal, Canada, Susan, Bancroft, God bless you. Melissa Filler, missed you too. Uh, I've also been praying it to uh, Arizona, so glory, glory. From Brisbane, Australia, praise the Lord. <clears throat> From Brisbane, Australia, hey, DD, bless you. Amen, yes, you always will get double, double, DD. Amen. Vic Strike, thanks so much for being a subscriber. Stephanie from Pine Mountain, Georgia. Rebe Shete, Apostle Barbara, good to see you, my friend. Glory, glory, glory. Help us to build the room. Let's build the algorithm. Because I got some things to share. And let me tell you, friends. Wow, hello, Francine. Marianne from Pittsburgh. The glory of God has been so great. Oh, man. I'm telling you, yesterday was the fourth day in a row we ministered here in Korea. And probably last night was my most favorite night. Jesus. I'm still getting a white talking about it, thinking about it. Last night was probably my most favorite night. Harabashat, and all the glory goes to Jesus. All the glory, but I mean, we are seeing so much deliverance, extreme deliverance, notable miracles. Amen. We are seeing God move with such great power. And all the glory goes to Jesus here in Korea. So we've been having a phenomenal time here and I'm so grateful uh, first and foremost I want to brag in the Lord and uh, let's celebrate Jesus together amen because uh, in the last week our Facebook we hit 200,000 followers so let's give the Lord a mighty clap for that I want to give you a public shout out thank you all of you for your love and uh, your support and your prayers to me in this ministry especially on this platform here on Facebook, amen? Even though it is, of course, a platform of the world. Still, Jesus will use it for his glory. Still, Jesus uh, allows us, wants us to use these type of platforms to reach the souls and to reach the masses. As much censorship there is, as much evil, demonic ideology, control, manipulation there is, still, all the more so, we must be on these platforms, amen? So I want you to celebrate the Lord with me in Jesus' name, I believe uh, from this day on, our social media uh, is just going to begin to uh, exponentially multiply. Amen. I feel the Lord on every platform, not just Facebook. Of course, Facebook uh, has been my largest following uh, from the different social media platform. But I believe the other sort of like everything. We are in a season of great harvest and great increase. Amen. And even with 50 live viewers. Amen. Listen, we are in a season of great increase and great harvest right now. So uh, exponential growth and increase like never before. If you believe it, say amen. And um, also this week, uh, we officially released 
two of my books translated in Korean. Okay, now my father, Dr. Reverend Lim, all right, he published, he translated two of my books in Korean in one week. In, in one week. And of course, we had to get the book covers, the inside, uh, work with the right publishers here in Korea. Glory to God. It's been wonderful, amazing. The response. Uh, yesterday, I ministered at a church here in Korea. And the pastor bought the book on Saturday evening. And the pastor said, she's already read half of the book. Literally in one day, not even one full day. So all the glory goes to Jesus. And uh, so... We translated two of our books into Korean. So let's celebrate the Lord. Amen. Um, and thirdly, another big thing that happened with me and our ministry this week so far is um, we officially launched Benlam Global Korea. Okay, Benlam Global Korea. And that is uh, a ministry branch of Benlam Ministries, Benlam Global, where we are specifically targeting the Korean diaspora or the Korean community. So we are translating uh, all of our teachings into Korean. Can I get an amen? And we're beginning to release that in-depth, Hebraical, biblical, scriptural, supernatural teaching shot, impartation uh, for the Korean nation, for the Korean people. So praise God. Amen. Let's give the Lord some praise for that. Uh, this week, we officially launched Bellum Global Korea. So we are on the move. We are working towards multiple languages, multiple streams, multiple nations, multiple anointing, multiple glories in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you're with me, I want you to say amen. So that's another thing. And I'd say number four, yesterday was the fourth day in a row I ministered. And yesterday was probably my favorite. All in all, I mean, we did a three-day conference you know, we had a beautiful 1,500-seater. Unfortunately, it was not filled, but it was filled with the glory of God. And, uh, you know, we had about 300 people max present, all in all registrations, 500 plus total over the last three days. So glory be to God. And in Korea, that's a, that's a big deal. Okay, that no, nobody is really doing meetings over 100 in Korea right now. So all the glory goes to Jesus. Amen. But last night was my fourth day straight ministry. And it was probably my most favorite night or my most favorite session. And then today, right after this, I'm ministering two sessions at a business seminar here on Monday. But uh, the key word that the Lord has given me, excuse me, the key word is establishment. And I sense that the Lord is establishing uh, his people. We are in a season of establishment. So God is about to establish you, make you firm, stable. Of course, establish means to stable, to make you stable, to make you firm. So there is an establishing anointing taking place. Hallelujah. And uh, glory be to God. We've been seeing so many miracles. I think we saw about 30 deaf ears open. Uh, the lame walk. We saw one boy, six years old. Oh, Jesus. Cerebral palsy. First time in his whole life where he walked that much. Glory be to God. There was a boy, I think seven months old. Little baby boy, seven months old. Born deaf. But in the meeting, the Lord opened his ear and he began to be attentive. Oh, I remember that. And you guys are going to see all the photos and videos, friends. I've been so busy. I've been so busy. I have not even been sharing stories. I'm so sorry. But that's what happens when you got a life. Amen. That's what happens when you're busy doing the Lord's work. Six-month-old baby, seven-month-old baby. Jeez, his name is Cheul. Cheul. And uh, my goodness, the grandma began to weep. Jesus is king. So many miracles. The glory goes to Jesus. Even last night, this was probably the biggest tumor I've ever seen in my life. But this late, I thought she was pregnant, okay? That's how big this tumor is in her womb, in her body. But she, uh, probably the size of my head, I'm not even kidding. She had a tumor in her stomach. And, and I thought it, she was pregnant, honestly, the whole service. But bam, she's on the floor. She starts getting delivered, manifesting. And she begins to feel... The tumor move, 
and the tumor shrink. So much hallelujah. So we've been seeing some unusual, incredible miracles here. All the glory goes to Jesus. And uh, today's my last day of ministry. So keep me in prayer. And then tomorrow, I'm recording an album in Korean. So we have a Korean album. I'm going to be in the studio tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. Amen. And uh, all the glory goes to Jesus. And then Wednesday, Thursday, I have some uh, mini vacation time with my family. We're going to go out to the mountains and to the beach and chill. Amen. And I'll be back in the stateside on Friday. And I will be seeing you in Albuquerque on Saturday. Sunday, I'll be seeing you at Open Heavens World. And then Wednesday, we start Route 66 Revival. Come on, in Chicago, Route 66 Revival in Chicago next Wednesday. And all of God's people say amen. Friends, lift up your hands. Lord, I thank you. Bless your people. Thank you for all that you're doing and all you're about to do today on this broadcast. God, I thank you for all of our viewers, friends, followers. Shut up, and I ask you that the power of God would be made manifest and would be present in this broadcast. And all of God's people say amen, amen, and amen. Well, friends, uh, we are planning some things even for Korea. We're looking at a building, not to buy, that's coming soon though, amen, but we're looking at a building to do seven days straight of revival, miracle signs of wonders in Korea. Wouldn't that be incredible? Seven days straight of revival in Korea. Now, once we set that in order, I want to invite you to come and be a part of it. All of our friends from around the world, amen. Come and be a part of it. Summer shout hallelujah. Now, friends of God, I want to talk about this very important subject today. And if you had a great Sunday service, say amen. If you're happy to be here today, say hallelujah. I welcome you in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, I'm still here in Korea. And uh, uh, amen. I'm, I'm very, very happy. I'm, I'm quite happy, especially after yesterday's service on Sunday. So right now, this broadcast, this is literally my 10th time preaching in the last five days. And so to, to, today I preached two more times, two more sessions. So that's 12 sessions. And you know, you know me and my ministry. Each session will be about three to four hours long. So glory goes to Jesus. But today I want to talk about your enemies becoming nothing. Because I believe right now in the season of establishment, as we are one week away, say one week, we're one week away from Pentecost. We are seven days away from Pentecost harvest, Pentecost glory. We are seven days away from Shavuot, which is an appointed time and season. And of course, it is one of God's main appointed times, okay? Primary. There's three primary, which is Passover, Pentecost, and Rosh Hashanah. So we are on the second main prime appointed times, or even as I like to call the father's time, because these three appointed times is when all of the men specifically would have to gather before the Lord in Jerusalem. So all the men would have to come from all around Israel and gather and be present during this feast. So I like to call it the father's feasts. Uh, the other four feasts out of the seven appointed times, you know, I mean, and it's of course all the father, but it's like, it's secondary feasts, even though they're very important. If you're following me, say amen. So I want to talk to you about your enemies becoming nothing. Because I believe that in this season of establishment, you're going to see your difficulties begin to vanish. Now, can I talk to you today? Because in a, in a world of chaos, we already know we're in the end times. Times are going to get darker. Times are going to get more difficult. There's going to be more demons present, more evil, more sin, more corruption, unfortunately. But for the believer, 
it's going to become more and more glorious. For the believer, the glory of God is going to shine bright like never before. And even in the midst of increase, I believe your enemies will become nothing. The difficulties will become nothing. I believe that the oppression, the attacks, it doesn't mean that there's not going to be trials and tribulations, but what I'm trying to propose to you today is that when you go to a level called the third heavens, which you and I, we already are residing in. We are ruling and reigning in already from the third heavens. We're seated with him in the heavenly realm. But when we arrive or enter into, when we realize where we already are, that all the warfare begins to stop and diminish. Amen. I declare breakthrough in Jesus' name. And I believe there's a realm called the Holy of Holies, which of course is the third realm or the third heavens. The Holy of Holies, there's no, uh, there's no warfare. There's no, uh, there's no nonsense. There's no drama. There's no sin. There's no flesh. That's why if the high priest had a, a blemish or did something out of order incorrectly, boom, he would fall and die in the glory of God. And that's why they had to pull him out. They had a bell, pomegranate bell, uh, on the tassels on the bottom of the robe. And uh, they had a string that was tied to their ankle or to the body to pull them out, just in case the high priest was rejected and died by the power of God. If you're following me so far, just nod your head, yes. Amen. Give us some hearts and likes. But you see, I'm sharing this because I believe there's a realm where God will cause your enemies to be at peace with you. Amen. God will cause your enemies to be at peace with you. So I want to talk to you today. Amen. And I want to minister to you because I believe that Jesus' peace is greater than the devil's drama. Can I say that again? Jesus' peace is greater than the devil's drama. Amen. So I got three verses here, of course. Proverbs 16, verse 7. Now, if you're with me, I want you to say amen. Proverbs 16, verse 7. Hallelujah. Proverbs 16, 7. The Bible says, when a man's ways pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. He makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Some would say peace. Some would say shalom. So when you so please God, of course, it infuriates devils. People get jealous. They have hate or hate. Uh, they have envy. They have insecurity. But when you so please God, God himself begins to deal with them. God himself begins to shut the mouths of lions. I feel the Holy Ghost right now. Come on, you need to pray in the Holy Ghost. Because there is a realm in the glory of God that's called perfect peace. There is a realm in the glory of God that's called shalom. That's called be still. There's a realm in the glory of God that's called it is finished. Come on, somebody, who am I talking to right now? And the Lord wants you to know that he's going to bring to peace all of the enemies that are against you. Now, what are enemies? Of course, enemies, it can be people. Absolutely. Enemies can be human beings. But let me propose to you that people are not our enemies. We're not in competition with China, with America, with the Democrats, with Joe Biden. We're not in, co we're in competition with evil spirits. We are in a battle that's spiritual, not carnal, and that is not of the flesh. If you're following me so far, just not yet, yes. So here, God is going to give you peace with every adversary. Now, that word, of course, in the Hebrew uh, is adversary, okay? Now, what is an adversary? The adversary doesn't even necessarily mean Satan, even though Satan, Hazatan, is standing for adversary. But the word adversary means something that is oppressing or coming against you. Now, ever since Adam and Eve fell and we're in a fallen world, there are spirits, there are powers, high places that are against you. It's just against, it's death. It's infiltrated. It's, in, it's infuriated. It's, it's, uh, <clears throat> it's filtered. It's sprinkled. It's filled with death. 
with chaos uh, because it's a fallen world. It's lawlessness. Amen. So these powers and principalities and high places, they are present and they are opposing. They are your enemies. They are against you, anti-Christ. They are against the Christ in you. So it's Karabro, this opposing power in the earth realm and in the heavenly realms. And God will give you peace with them. Can I go a little bit deeper? Which means in the realm of increase, hallelujah, in the realm of increase, it means that those opposing spiritual powers will no longer bother you anymore. They will be around, but they won't bother you. It will have the same effect on you. You're not going to be bewitched anymore. You're not going to be infirmed anymore. You're not going to be, you're unbothered. Someone hashtag unbothered. You're, you're not going to be, you're unbothered. Come on. You are unbothered in the power of God, in the power of Jesus Christ. So they're around, but they cannot test you. They cannot contest you. Death, where is your sting? Woman, where are your accusers now? And so there's a realm, my friends, where the glory and the power will be so strong that truly you are untouchable. Some would say, I am untouchable. Where you are untouchable. When a man pleases the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. Every opposing spirit, every realm of struggle, every realm of difficulty is being broken and destroyed. And the Lord is giving you victory. In Jesus' name, if you're with me today, I want you to say amen. Now let's go, hallelujah, to the other key verse here, Isaiah 41, 12. I love this passage, praise God, Isaiah 41, 12. And if you're with me today, say amen. You shall seek those who contend with you. I love this. But you shall not find them. Those who war against you shall be as nothing at all. I love this. Let's read it again. You shall seek those who contend with you, even in secret and in public, but you shall not find them. Those who war against you shall be nothing at all. Someone say, amen. Someone say, preach, Dr. Ben. So imagine you're sitting down. I'm sitting down here. And as far as you can see, I'm on the 38th floor here at a high-rise apartment building in Korea. Amen. But imagine... Uh, I'm sitting here, and as far as you can see, you're looking for a blemish. You're looking for something wrong. You're looking for maybe fire, a burglary, a crime. You're looking for something that's criminal. Act you're looking for criminal, act but you will not find it. You're not going to find it in your peripheral view. Come on, somebody. You're not going to find it in your territory. As for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. You're not going to find it in my house. You're not going to find drama. You're not going to find witchcraft. You're not going to find demons. You're not going to find mixture and nonsense in my house. As far as my territory is, my sphere of influence is, as far, hallelujah, as the realm of my influence is, you're not going to find it at all. You can look all you want. You can, you can snoop around, you can snoopy doopy all around, you can look all you want, but you're not going to find a centilia, a centillion cinch, a centimeter. You're not going to find nothing on the hair of my chinny chin chin. You're not going to find nada because of dominion. Come on, somebody. Did not the Lord say 2023 is the year of dominion, resurrection, and divine direction? Someone shout hallelujah. Did not the Lord say 2023? 5783. This will be the year of Psalm 23. This will be the year of wherever the soles of your feet touch. You will have dominion over that land. Psalm 23. He will lead you out of the wilderness into the place of promise. Hurraba. Did the Lord not say and prophesy that this is the third year anointing of resurrection power? So it's a power. In the realm of your dominion, you're not going to find anything wrong. Amen. So much hallelujah. Your enemies shall be nothing at all. I love that. Jesus. The ones who once came against you will become nothing. The ones who once gossiped about you will become nothing. 
Now, do you know what nothing means? It means nothing. Do you know what nothing means? No influence, no voice, not even a blip on the radar. Cha! Reka taraba. It vanishes. It vanishes. Now, I love this other passage here. Glory be to God. Are you receiving today? Sharaba taraba. Psalm 1, 3 to 4. Psalm 1, 3 to 4. Psalm 1, 3 to 4. Amen. He is like a tree planted by streams of water, yielding its fruit in season, whose leaf does not wither, <laughs> and who prospers in all he does. Who prospers in all he does. Not so for the wicked, for they are like chaff driven off by the wind. Somebody say confusion and chaos is the portion of the wicked. Not so the wicked. Listen, those who are those who are righteous in the Lord, those who are seated in the council of the Lord's presence, you will be firmly rooted, established by streams of living water. You'll be like a tree. You're going to bear leaves. You're going to bear fruit in and out of season and every season throughout the year. Amen. Hallelujah. But not so for the wicked. For they are like shafts. And they will blow away and become nothing in the wind. Once again, the last verse in Isaiah. Amen. That day will become nothing at all. I want to prophesy to you. Every realm and area of struggle, strife, will become nothing in your life. It will suddenly disappear and vanish. It will not even be a fading memory. It will not even be in the memory gland, uh, in your brain, in the computer chip, in your memory. It will not even be anywhere because you're a new creation. Amen. The Lord will cause your enemies to scatter. And I declare and I decree that every realm of difficulty, struggle, of adversity will become nothing. It will become like shaft. Do you know why? Because it's your food. Do you know why? Because it is under your feet. I want all of you to begin to pray out loud in the Holy Ghost right now. The righteous are like a tree that's firmly planted by streams of water, yielding its fruit in and out of season, whose leaf does not wither, and who prospers in all that he does. Someone say amen. Someone shout hallelujah. So listen, right now in this moment, I want to talk to you because I believe the Lord, honestly, I was going to talk about something else. <laughs> but right before I went out live, the Lord, boom, dropped this word on my spirit. And he said, son, talk to my people that their enemies will become nothing at all. Your problems will suddenly become nothing. The issues you're dealing with will suddenly become nothing. It will vanish like shaft in the wind. It will disappear. It will be gone. Hallelujah. Sharabrata. I said hallelujah. Suddenly, it will disappear and vanish in the name of Jesus. If you're with me today, I want to say amen. All of your enemies will become nothing. You're not even going to remember it. Don't even give it attention. Don't even, my goodness. Jesus, Jesus, just pray in the Holy Ghost. My goodness, help me, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Someone say peace. Some say peace. I prophesy now. All of those lying tongues will be shut down. All of those lying mouths will be closed. I prophesy now that God is dealing with your enemies. God is, <laughs> he's sending an angel of confusion to confuse the camp of your enemies as it took place in the Bible and the word of God. The Lord is making a way for you where there seems to be no way. 
and the Lord is opening the Red Sea. He's parting the sea in two. And the Lord has gone before you. The God of angel armies. Amen. Shakaraba. And I see the Lord marching through. And I hear God saying, it's my battle. And it's done. And it's finished. I want you to pray out loud in the Holy Ghost. Come on. My goodness. I feel the power of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. All of your worries will become nothing. Do you know why? Because it already is nothing. So why do we give it power? Why do we give the devil attention? Why do we idolize the demonic? And why do we put on a pedestal our issues? Oh, I'm preaching now. Some say preach, Dr. Ben. Why do we put our issues on a pedestal? Why do we hashtag the struggle is real? Why don't you get delivered from that victim spirit and from that orphan mentality? And why don't you believe in the word of God that he has raised you up? Even while we were still dead in our transgressions, he raised you up. Someone say amen. Hallelujah. Help me to break the hundred mark right now, friends. And I believe right now the Lord is saying, I want you to praise him, me, and lift me up. For when the Son of Man is lifted up, the whole world will see the glory of God. The whole world will see. Amen. Now, it doesn't mean there's not going to be trials, tribulations, but I'm telling you, it's so not going to even bother you. It's so going to... It's, it's a false reality, friends. Can I preach to you? Can I talk to you? All of the drama and the warfare and nonsense, it is a false reality. Yes, people, there are people truly demonized. Yes, there are people that are, that are truly, that have been sick, that are in for absolutely, 100%. All right, but the truth is that you can be healed. Cha! You can be free. The truth is that Jesus paid the price and he did it all. All of God's people say amen. Give us some hearts and likes. And because that's the truth, therefore we believed in a lie or we are in a false reality. Believing that sickness, pain, evil, drama, the cycles, the cyclical patterns of warfare is our portion. That's not your portion. Come on, that's not your portion. Your portion in the kingdom is joy, peace, and righteousness. That's your portion. But of course, as we grow in the glory, as we increase in the kingdom, we slay giants, we slay devils, Goliaths fall. But the Bible says David slayed his ten thousands. The Bible also says David had victory wherever he went. Come on, unstoppable momentum. The Bible also says that David defeated all of his enemies. He did all that he could possibly do. Amen. He, and, and then he fell, of course, because he needed to go deeper into his own heart, into his own soul, his own life. Hallelujah. Someone shout hallelujah. Somebody shout fire. I release the fire of God all the way from Korea over your life. Hebashata in the name of Jesus. Rebashaka, fire of the Holy Ghost. Somebody shout fire. Come on, give us some hearts and likes. Pray a lot of the Holy Ghost. Your enemies will become nothing. Every adversary, lying, gossiping, spirit and tongue, every, every demonic enchantment, every witchcraft spell, every curse, sickness, infirmity, financial struggle, the struggle of, of being promoted, of going up to the next level, I break it now in Jesus' name. Somebody shall fire, fire of the Holy Ghost. It will become nothing. I want you to comment right now. Listen, I need you to comment right now in, this, in the chat. And I need you to comment, dot, 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 will become nothing. What are you facing right now? Depression, anxiety, fear, Failure, 
sickness. I need you to write dot, 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 insert right now. Declare it with your mouth, with your big fingers. Requete. Amen. It will become nothing. The drama will become nothing. The haters, the gossip, the witchcraft will become nothing in my life. In Jesus' name, it's nothing. Hallelujah. Amen, Apostle Barbara. Sickness will be nothing. Share it with Troy. Yes, come on. I need you to comment, insert right now. Insert yourself. Financial holdup will become nothing. Amen. Failure, sickness will become nothing in my life. Amen. Shut up, 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 up. My enemies, fear, financial fear, struggle, instability, my kids being suffering will become nothing. Drama, all God, haters, new. Amen. Will become nothing. Family fractures will become nothing. Yes, Lord. Rebe, be, be, be. Shut up. The isolation will become nothing. It's a nothing. Amen. Why? Because Jesus is everything. If Jesus is all you have, then Jesus is all you need. If Jesus is all you have, then Jesus is all you need. Somebody shout hallelujah. Raka, I need you to prophesy right now. You need to prophesy. Come on, prophesy. Harababaye. I gave you the word. I gave you the tools. I released the power. Now you agree and you activate. You enact and you step into it. Hallelujah. It will become nothing because it already is. Is it suddenly going to become nothing because it eventually became nothing? No, it became nothing because it already is nothing. Come on, somebody. Is that deep or what? Because it's nothing already. The actualization, the realization, the manifestation of its destiny, of its future is now expired, so it eventualizes, actualizes into nothingness. <laughs> Was that too philosophically deep for you? Amen. Somebody shout hallelujah. <laughs> it's nothing. Thank you, Lord. The righteous will be planted in streams of living water, yielding your fruit in its season whose leaf does not wither and who prospers in all he does. Not so for the wicked. They're like chaff driven off by the wind. Friends, listen. I want you to read Psalm 1 today. I feel such an anointing on Psalm 1. As I was reading it earlier, <coughs> I just felt the fire. Wow, Jesus felt the fire of God, the presence, the pleasure of the Father. Just the joy of being rooted in him. Amen. So I, I got some homework for you. Read Psalm 1. Read it out loud. Amen. After his broadcast, you need to read that. Amen. That's my homework for you. But your enemies, all that you're facing, it will become nothing. What are you facing now? Some drama, some obstacles. Some haters, some gossip, financial issues. It's nothing. And God is going to suddenly, suddenly, someone say suddenly. God is going to suddenly surprise and shock you and bless you. And the Lord is about to suddenly do, do a supernatural thing in your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Someone say amen. Your enemies will become nothing. Amen. You will look for those who contend for you. And you will say salah. The Lord has done it. It is marvelous in our sight. He has done great things. Salah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Someone say peace. Peace be still. I literally see like shalom angels covering you. 
a new covering is coming to you. A new covering of shalom is hovering over you. Marabarasa tarabrata. A new weight of glory, a manifestation of his presence is coming over you now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's getting us ready for Pentecost. Pentecost at any cost. Amen. Harvest, baptism, the fire of God, promises fulfilled, prophecies come into pass. Amen. So much a hallelujah. Friends of God, thanks for watching today. This is Dr. Pastor Ben Lim, still in Korea. I hope to do another Facebook broadcast live with you in the next few days before my return back home. I love all of you. I hope you were blessed today. Happy Sunday for those on the state side. I know many of you are probably at church or spending time with family. Praise God. Uh, happy Monday for, for those who are in the other parts of the world. But friends, next week we start Route 66 Revival. Uh, we start off in Chicago, then go down to St. Louis. Keep us in prayers. If you are around the highway of Route 66, go to... Come and see us. Amen. Come and see us. Go over to Route 66 Revival.us. And uh, we got some amazing things that God is doing. Amazing things. Amen. That's the whole month of June. From Chicago, St. Louis, Kansas City, Tulsa, Amarillo, Flagstaff, Albuquerque, and in Los Angeles. Eight cities in the power of God. Ten revivals, miracle crusades, gospel preaching, all for the glory of Jesus. Amen. I believe you're coming to a season where all of your problems will suddenly become nothing. Because in the presence of Jesus, it is absolutely nothing. God bless your friends. I love you. Consider giving us a follow, a like, share this. On your wall, if this blessed you, tag somebody, and uh, I'll see you soon.